cup spot. But after today, centre-back Mike Galloway begins a four-match suspension. Charlie Nicholas has been recalled to replace the injured Andy Payton. Very much the man of the moment for Celtic is John Collins, who took part in the midweek game against Germany. He scored the opening goal against Rangers last week and has found Tannadice something of a happy hunting ground in recent seasons. The referee is Martin Clark from Edinburgh. So an important match for both clubs gets underway. And with news from UEFA, there might just be the two spots available to Scottish clubs this season. Both managers pointing out to the players the importance of the game. Celtic have a he healthy eight-point lead over Dundee United uh, with a game in hand. But this is the start of four consecutive away league matches for Celtic. So it's important to take something from it. So an early free kick against Slater. Foul there on Michael O'Neill. Well, Dundee United, of course, were used to so many great years in European football. They've missed out recently. So they're very determined to get back in. And here's an early chance on for them. Bonner having to flap at that one. And now it's Duncan Ferguson who to pass a fitness test for this match this afternoon. But he loses out to Galloway, but there's a mistake. And Paddy Connolly almost through. McAvenny switching the play, looking for Collins. And down he goes, play on, says the referee. Well, it was Mark Perry who got into all kinds of trouble there. The referee immediately waved play on. Well, it was always an awkward ball for the defender. He stumbled there, and that really should have been a penalty kick because the boot was raised high. Peter Grant sending it through to Nicholas. Later again, McIverney leaves it to Nicholas, good play by Celtic, but well cut out by Morris Malpass. And now it's Michael O'Neill, looking for Ferguson. Paul McStay looking very busy. To Stuart Slater, that ball took a slight deflection, then comes Collins. Well, the cross in from the right, the Slater sent it in, it took a slight deflection. And Collins got in there just ahead of the defender, but could get no real power into his effort. And Kid Ferguson winning it there, but it's headed away eventually by McNally. This is Nicholas. Nicholas does well. That's Slater. The offside flag had gone up. Although uh, John Clark had cut out the danger. Johnson, aimed at the head of Ferguson, and he heads it down now to Paddy Connolly. And eventually it's not clear by Tom Boyd. Well, again, Duncan Ferguson showing his menace in the air. Uh, Grant Johnson fired in the ball, he rose above the Celtic defence, headed it down to Paddy Connolly, and his first time shot, well stopped by Bonner, and then Boyd stepping in to send it clear. Malpass to Neri, playing game 601 today in the league for Dundee United. Tremendous record. Duncan Ferguson lays it off now to Malpass. Malpass with over 500 appearances to his credit. This is Michael O'Neill going in the outside of the defender. That's a good cross. Bonner got the touch to it. Still, it's not cleared. And the shot going over from Grant Johnson. Well, good play again by Dundee United, and looking very much in the mood this afternoon. It was a superb play by Michael O'Neill. He got in the cross, Bonner knocked it away, and then in came the shot from Johnson. Boyd oh, plays it through, looking for Slater. And uh, the free kick given, but uh, surely the advantage could have been applied. It was Morris Malpass who 
made the challenge, but uh, Slater had got away from him. And the referee signalling over towards the Celtic bench, towards Tommy Craig, the assistant manager, to calm down. Celtic clearly felt the advantage should have been played. There's McAvenny's header. And this is an awkward one now. He's off Charlie Nicholas, it's McAvenny! That's a goal! Well, Morris Malpass tried to clear it. The ball spun down. It's come off Charlie Nicholas, and now it's McAvenny to finish it off. 11 minutes gone. It's Dundee United nil, Celtic 1. again, McIverney, nice little touch to McStay, good ball through to Collins, Celtic getting plenty of players forward here, this is Nicholas, that was a good effort from Charlie Nicholas, put to Alan Main at full stretch, but, uh, good build up by Celtic. United, and he's tripped by Peter Grant, and the Celtic player being called over by the referee, and this will be a booking, so the yellow card shown to Peter Grant, Pat Bonner getting things organised, John Clark covering over the ball, he can certainly whack them, we took a deflection and uh, it proved difficult for Pat Bonner in the end. But, uh, John Clark ball was dangerous in this type of situation. The ball took a deflection off one of the defenders, one of the Celtic defenders, and was well taken by Bonner. It's played through, that's a great ball to Paul McStay. Nicholas is running through with him. Well, he tried to dummy the goalkeeper. Still Celtic have it up. And McAvenny's header dipping over the crossbar. Well, all McStay had to do was knock it inside. Charlie Nicholas was running alongside him, but he tried to tell a dummy to the goalkeeper, and uh, Alan Main stuck out a foot to deprive him of the chance. But what a marvellous through pass it was from Darius Dobchik. No one's running into trouble, though, in the shape of Paddy Connolly. Till it's Connolly, and McNally sends it behind for the corner kick. So we're inside the final minute of the first half, plus of course any injury time as Michael O'Neill picks the corner. This is Johnson. Clark gets a touch, Scott Crabbs in there, and it uh, goes behind for another corner to United. Uh, United keeping the pressure on, so time running away from them in this first half. Neil sends it in. Fergus is up there. This is McAnally. It's Connolly. He's blocked by McStay. So looks not probably clear. Eventually it's Grant sending it away. It's returned by Malpass. It's straight to McAvenny. He hits the first time pass to Nicholas. White's racing forward. Good running by Tom Boyd. Celtic pouring men forward here. But the final pass letting them down. Still Celtic have it through Grant. We're now into injury time. And the offside flag goes up. Well, some hectic play. Again, it's aimed at Ferguson. Galloway's in there for Celtic. Tipped away by Boyd. This is Nicholas to Dubchak. And the throw in goes on the United's way. minute of injury time played. It's uh, McStay stepping in for Celtic. It's returned by John Clark. Head of clearance from Galloway. This is McStay. Pass from McStay to McAvenny. And David Neary and John Clark doing just enough to put him off. So the corner kick to Celtic. And 
ball goes behind from Galloway. And there goes the half-time whistle. So the Celtic fans well pleased. And there's Frank McAvenny who put Celtic ahead after 11 minutes. Malpass tried to clear the ball. It's gone high there. It's come down, come off Charlie Nicholas. And there was McAvenny to force it over the line. The half-time score here at Tannadice. Dundee United nil. It's Connolly and Crabb who start the second half for United. Who have made a change. They've brought on John O'Neill for... Jim McAnally, who was injured in the first half and had also been booked. It's cut out by Galloway. And he's having a fine game, Galloway. This Collins. Through to McStay. Charlie Nicholas is in there, claims the handball. Still play going on. It's McAvenny. It's charged down by Malpass and eventually goes behind for the goal kick. Well, again... Dramatic stuff, but there uh, were certainly claims for handball as Charlie Nicholas was charging into the penalty area. Then there was an attempted shot by Slater, it was blocked by Neri, and then it broke out to McAvenny, and his shot was charged down by Malpass, and eventually the ball went behind for the goal kick. Galloway getting the touch for Celtic. Headed away by McStay. Picked up by Malpass. This is Paddy Connolly. Good play by Connolly. Now it's Duncan Ferguson. Uh, the early shot made it a difficult one for Pat Bonner. And the Celtic keeper reacted well. Good play by Duncan Ferguson. He headed early. And Bonner getting his left hand to the ball. McStay challenging for it. Touched by Peter Grant. McAvenny's in there again. Bit of a miscue by Collins, and uh, it was Malpass looking in ahead of Nicholas. It's Dobchak's head up. Now it's Collins. And uh, Scott Crabb charging in. And it's all getting a bit towsy. And uh, the referee now calling over Scott Crabb and giving him a word of warning. So Galloway is well forward. It's struck by Dobchak. Galloway's there! And Mike Galloway! Makes it 2-0 to Celtic. A powerful header. Well, Mike Galloway, I said earlier that uh, he'd scored a spectacular goal for Celtic against Dundee United at Parkhead last season. Well, he scored an own goal here earlier this season, and now he atones for it. A terrific header, giving Alan Main no chance. So, 58 minutes gone, 2-0 to Celtic. And Mike Galloway gets his third goal of the season. Galloway, in fact, made his debut in Scottish football against Dundee United. And he joined Hearts. And he certainly got a bit of a history against them. Celtic playing some delightful stuff here. And this will be another booking. This time it's... Johnson being called over and uh, there's a bit of trouble off the ball there. A few players getting involved. So it's Grant Johnson. He becomes the sixth player booked in this match. McAnally, Michael O'Neill and now Johnson of Sunday United. Grant Dolchek and Slater of Celtic. Side flag has gone up. So it's John Clark with the free kick. Send it to Ferguson, he gets a touch through looking for Paddy Connolly. And Connolly pulls one back for Dundee United. 64 minutes gone. Dundee United won Celtic 2. It was John Clark with the free kick. Looking it through onto the head of Duncan Ferguson. He got the touch on to Paddy Connolly. And there was Connolly to finish off for his 14th goal of the season. So, we have a game in our hands. There's no doubt about that. Good play by Boyd. Getting away from Grant Johnson. 
Nicholas and McAvenny calling for it. Mick Stays moving forward as well. And the ball goes behind for the goal kick. So a promising run by Tom Boyd, but it comes to nothing. Nice little touch by Duncan Ferguson. This is John O'Neill. Through for Paddy Conley. Well, Conley turned nicely, but uh, the ball taking a deflection and going behind for the corner kick. Good build-up by United, and it was John O'Neill playing it through. And it was nicked away there by Darius Dubchik. Next day, playing it to Slater. Slater gets away from Malpass. Through now for McAvenny. It's well blocked by Min. Superb play by Slater, getting the ball through to McAvenny. Now it's Malpass for United, looking for Duncan Ferguson. It's a free kick against McNally. Quickly taken, it's with Paddy Conley. The answer the referee. It's a, a mistake there by David Neary. It's McAvenny. And finished off by John Collins. And that surely ties it all up for Celtic with 77 minutes gone. Dundee United 1, Celtic 3. It all began with a slip by David Neary. McAvenny raced through. Collins was running with him all the way. And McAvenny slipping it into the pan of Collins. And John Collins gets goal number eight of the season to keep up his fine run. So United with it all to do again, but here's Paddy Connolly. Trying to turn, it's Ferguson, and it's cleared off the line by McNally. Well, it's gripping stuff. Still United battling away. That's a real chance, and a fine clearance by Mark McNally. Connolly, a slight one not picked up by Collins. Good play again by Collins, getting away from John O'Neill, he's being chased by Michael O'Neill now. Sends it through for McAvenny, who's on side, that's another fine save by Main. All the chances are coming thick and fast. Paul McStay digging in well again for Celtic, winning it, pushing it through to Slater, and that's a free kick against John O'Neill. And it's played in by Boyd, looking for McAvenny. Gets the touchdown to Slater. And Malpass makes the challenge. This is John O'Neill. Now Johnson wins it nicely against Galloway. This is Duncan Ferguson. Paddy Connolly's racing in. He gets in the cross, Duncan Ferguson's in there! A superb goal by Dundee United. 89 minutes gone, and Duncan Ferguson gets his 14th goal of the season. Initially it was won in the middle of the park by Johnson, and he got it out to Paddy Connolly, and then his cross met by Duncan Ferguson. So Dundee United 2, Celtic 3, and what has been a splendid match. We're now into injury time. United in a hurry to get on with things. Again, it's aimed in at Ferguson. It's headed away by Vata. This is Malpass, but uh, sending the pass just beyond John O'Neill. So the there has been terrific entertainment throughout the 90 minutes. It's McStay now playing it through, looking for McAvenny, and there goes the final whistle. Warm handshakes all round. Um, John Collins there was who really wrapped it all up for Selvin. Uh, Mike Galloway playing a splendid game as well. It was his powerful header 
after 58 minutes as Darius Dovchak sent the ball and he powered the ball into the...